Hi guys, so for today's Dollar Tree haul, I'm going to share with you guys a bunch of adorable Valentine's Day goodies, snacks, candies that I've picked up. And then the second part of this video is going to be me assembling all of these things into a charcuterie board and making a Dollar Tree style Valentine's Day charcuterie board with all of these adorable things. Dollar Tree has put out some really cute snacks and it just would be a shame, honestly, not to do this video on my channel so let's just go ahead and jump in i'll show you guys what i got i don't know that everything is going to make it onto the board i don't even have like a vision i'm just gonna kind of put some things together but let me show you guys what i got all right so i found these adorable chocolate like buddies or cuties or whatever they're called and they did these for Christmas as well and now they're doing them for Valentine's Day which is really cute so you can see they're holding a little red heart so we have a frog and it shows you right here the bottom all of the ones that are part of this collection I definitely did not get everybody so I need to go back and look also got the puppy here and then I also found the owl and also by the way it has like the to and from so if you wanted this to be like your child's treat to their you know classmates or whatever it already has like the little label and then i found the white chocolate bear so i love that he has little red hearts on his feet so cute and then i also found the raccoon and actually i think dollar tree had all the other ones i just wasn't paying attention but i definitely remember seeing the unicorn um and actually, that would mean I had gotten everybody except the uniform. All right, so those are really adorable and would look completely cute on a charcuterie board. Plus, let me show you my board. This is not from Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree has sold these in a very like small version, which those could be cute too. You definitely can get very creative with a charcuterie board. It doesn't have to be one big board. You could do like a couple of the mini boards and then maybe you could even style it um, on a Valentine's Day like kitchen spread. And then each plate has like a little mini charcuterie board, which now I want to do that so hopefully I get a video out like that for you guys but this is the board that I'm going to use just because I already had it on hand I also really like the size it's not too big so there we go and I don't know if you guys have seen like those TikTok videos but people do this thing now where they get together and they each person is assigned a certain charcuterie board so like one person does a pizza one and a hamburger one and like a popcorn one it's really cute, so I feel like it's all the rage. All right, then you would have seen this in a previous haul, but I pulled these back out. And they're little chocolate hearts, but they're really unique because it's also a maze with the little ball, which is so adorable. But I just thought it had a beautiful look and could look elegant um, in on a board. So we'll see how that turns out. And then I have these, which was also in a previous haul. This honestly was the candy that sparked me to want to do this video. Cause I just said, this candy is so beautiful. Y'all I've been shopping at Dollar Tree for so long that seeing stuff like this is just, it's, it's amazing. Cause they have come such a long way. So I went back and bought a couple more of them. Let's see here, plus, I went back to a different store and look what I found. No. What? And they are little hearts. I don't know if you can tell. They're not just like regular little sprinkles. They're like little heart sprinkles on the white chocolate pretzel. And I bought several of these as well. I don't even know what to do with myself. I really don't. And then in yesterday's haul, I showed you guys these little Debbie cakes. They are in the shape of a heart. It's kind of hard to see through the packaging right now, but you'll be able to really see them when I unravel it and put it on the board. Just pink with some white chocolate drizzle. Um, so I got those. And then Dollar Tree had these little silicone heart molds. They're really cute. And it looks like you get two pink and one red in there. Yeah, it's a three count. These could be great too for st styling in a charcuterie board if you have little like mini candies. Maybe you're doing like the M&Ms where they do the, you know, the red and the pink and the white. You could put like M&Ms in here. I got these because I thought I might like put little candies in here. Again, when it comes to a charcuterie board, just kind of, 
I, I personally wing it. I don't necessarily have always a direct vision. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. I picked up another bag of the Haribo. Is it? I feel like kids and grown-ups love it so the happy world of Haribo. Is that right? Whatever, who cares? Um, but these are the Valentine's Day edition and they come in the red and the white, which is really cute. So I got another one of those. And then this was in yesterday's haul. Not sure again if I'm gonna style it on the charcuterie board. It's made more for like hot chocolate because it's a hot chocolate bomb. Um, it has uh, the, the uh, marshmallows on the inside of this heart. But I thought, let me pull it out. Maybe it'll look cute on the charcuterie board. So I got one of those. And then I picked up these hard candies. They are cinnamon flavored. And at my Dollar Trees, they are putting these out with Valentine's Day. I like them because they are a red candy. So I, I wanted to make sure that my charcuterie board did have the traditional colors. So I was definitely eyeing things that were pink, white, and red. Um, so there's that. And then they have these cherry jelly hearts, which are so cute. I love that they are in the heart shape and they're red, so they're gonna be perfect. And then not in the Valentine's Day section, just in the regular candy aisle, I picked up these soft and chewy watermelon licorice. They just have that pink color. They also sell this in a strawberry version with the red and I don't know why I didn't get it because I think it would have really been pretty to have like two candies of the same look, but different colors. So, uh, oh well. So I got that. And then I also picked up these cookies and creams, these little chocolate hearts. So essentially you can just style them on a charcuterie with the wrapping. You can also unwrap each candy if you wanted to as well. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that quite yet because if I unwrap it, it's gonna be a chocolate color. Um, so I'll see when I get to it. And then I got the specialty boxes that are also for Valentine's Day. So this is the trolleys. You can see that they have the heart shaped. Now these are gonna be different color. They're not gonna be just, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna put these on the board or not. And then Sour Patch, which this blew my mind because I, don't, I think this is the first time I've seen the heart Sour Patch shape one ever. So this could be a brand new release period, let alone at like Dollar Tree. But, so there's that. And then the Junior Mints, which is really cute. See, now these are gonna be externally brown. So on the inside, you can see you get the white and the red, which is really cute. But I like them because they're in the shape of a heart. So, got that. And then I pulled some like decor pieces, maybe to style it, I'm not sure. Um, and then I also pulled some heart doilies. Again, not sure if I'm gonna use these or not, but let's go ahead and get into styling this. I do wanna say that I did get a comment, somebody asking me to kind of like talk about a charcuterie board and how to do it. Like I said before, you could do all kinds, burgers. You don't just have to do like a cheese charcuterie or like the ones that you see with the grapes and the cheese dips and the crackers, like that's the very, traditional way, definitely, and gorgeous, by the way. Um, you could do candy, you could do color themes of food. Like, it could be anything you want it to be. It's really not, there's really no like science or math, you know, really behind it. You could really put it together however you want. So like in this instance, I do wanna go for a color theme. So anyways, let's go ahead and put it together. All right, so the first piece that I'm pick, pulling out are going to be these hearts just because they're like the biggest um, snacks that I have. So I am trying to go for putting down the bigger size first. So you can see here I also pulled in the decor piece, but throughout this video you'll see how I actually end up moving quite a bit around. I end up getting rid of the love piece and then I switch candies around. I think that's part of the charcuterie process. You go until you're just kind of satisfied with you know the look and how you want it to go. You could definitely use Pinterest as a guide if you feel like you're not really good at putting things together. I definitely had to like take a look at a couple of Valentine's Day charcuterie boards because I felt like something was a, a little off and um, 
but you can see here again I'm styling like the bigger pieces I did end up using the silicone hearts which was really cute um, just trying to use as many heart things as possible it was these um, dark chocolate hearts that was throwing me off so I ended up moving them and then it just looked a lot better so definitely play around with the positioning and where you're putting certain candies until you just kind of feel like you know the board just speaks to you um, at this point I'm just kind of like trying to balance candies out as well so I have like the Twizzlers on both ends of the board and then you see here that I put the chocolate hearts on the actual board and it looked a lot better. Uh, the dark chocolate just worked well with the color of the charcuterie board versus with the red silicone heart. It just, I feel like it clashed. Um, and then I'm just like styling it with some more candies and I had some of these uh, pretzels, uh, which was really great because I wanted to balance some white on the other end of the board. Um, and then at this point, now that I've gotten all of my favorite candies on there, I'm just kind of like backfilling and finding any holes. And I do that with the remainder of my candy. Um, so essentially, the little jelly hearts were the cutest things on this entire board in my opinion. They're just really simple, but they really worked so well and filled in all of the little cracks. Um, yeah, so, and that's it. That's what the charcuterie board looks like. All of the candy from Dollar Tree turned out super cute. Um, you could just, you know, do a whole pink spread or a whole white spread or a whole red spread um, if you wanted to just do one certain color and that would make it a lot easier. Um, and then just use any candies that you want. Like I didn't use conversation hearts in here and they would have been really adorable. I could have done more of a pastel themed Valentine's Day charcuterie board and that would have been fun too. But I hope you guys loved this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.